Hello ladies and gentlemen, as always, I'm your host, Airsoft Al, and today is a simple video of talking about what I'm going to be taking to the open game that's going to be happening this Saturday from 9.30 to 4 p.m. at Sector 9. So I hope to see you guys at Sector 9, or at least, you know, kind of get a little bit of group going on, because honestly, I'd like to get more people going on. Uh, links in the pinned comment, of course, to Sector 9 and a few other, you know, discourse. Either way, so, what guns am I bringing to the field. Let's start with the good ones first before I immediately, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, handgun wise, two, to be exact. I am bringing, of course, the new CZ PO, CZ75 PO7. Uh, this little bad boy is based at the CZ75 Duty pistol. It is a ASG one, and it is based off of, of course, the wind gun style of operations. Now, this, of course, was. A nice little thing from my buddy Matt, and uh, again, yeah, he's a cool dude. He, this is a trade with him, sadly, no front sight post, that's fine, I am used to having just pre-owned guns, and uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of research into this little thing, and uh, yeah, just kind of cool, it is a full-on wind gun operations, it's not a double action, it is a single action only gun, uh, but but it's not that bad. I will admit that some of the stuff I'm a little bit uh, wary about, but you know what? It's just one of those things. Uh, it's going to be a little bit fun running this, actually. The other handgun, of course, is one that I have done a video on back in the day, announcing it, talking about it. Uh, the next handgun, of course, I'm going to be taking is the SEMA Glock 18C. This sucker is basically going to be used, and, of course, I have the Extendo magazines for it. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be one of those things of I am just going to use it and then probably do some crazy with it just for the joke of the fact of, oh, a Glock is so perfect, and then everyone has, like, God knows how much everything on it. So, yeah, going to be doing that. But, handguns aside, I do have, of course, some other stuff that I will be taking. And one of the, well, two of those is going to be AEGs. One, I'm going to be getting at the field itself from my buddy, uh, well, who actually is the owner's son. It's a UAR. Hopefully, I'll be getting it, and I'll be running it that day. Uh, so that means, you know, a lot of fun there. Oh, yes, a lot of fun. Because, honestly, the UAR has been on kind of my bucket list of guns especially Airsoft Replicas, for years since I first saw it at Red Wolf TV. Uh, wee, wee, back in the day. <sighs> Either way, though. The other one, though, is... Dear God, is one that actually one of the commenters called Trash, UK Arms Trash, which is technically true. It is UK Arms, but it's also Well and Deep Fire. Uh... And, of course, another one is Cursed, which, yes, it's Cursed in the sense of it's based, I'm basing it off of Fallout 4, the Fallout 4 combat rifle, and I am trying to keep a straight face. I'm trying to not laugh my absolute butt off, but at the same time, I can't. I cannot. Because I decided to basically take this thing and go full Fallout with it, and honestly, it would not be out of place in a degenerate Dax mod pack. It really would not be. I've stalled though, so let me bring this sucker around and I'll tell you exactly why I have it set up the way I do. So, ladies and gentlemen, I have of course my combat rifle and 30 carbine carbine and uh... <laughs> uh go ahead, go ahead. You know you want to say in the comments section, so here we go. Nice fucking model! Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, I basically add a rail. It's not a full monolithic rail, it's in pieces, though. And I have it to where I've got the this this red dot right here because there's no way in hell this thing is going to be accurate past. Uh, the other thing I've done is, of course, make it semi-auto only uh, because I can only run semi-auto at the field because this is still considered a rifle, even though it's a carbine. Which, you know what, I eliminated the issue of it being... Uh, semi instead of it basically going full auto. However, 
depending on the lipo you throw in the sucker, it'll still do full auto. So it's one of those lovely things of, I've got to check, I've got to be careful with the power output of what I put in this, which I have found with a 7.4 volt lipo, it will actually work fairly well. Uh, will not shoot as fast, but it doesn't go full auto. So I may run just the 7.4 volt lipo in this sucker and be happy with that because honestly, this is one of those guns of I'm just running this for fun and legitimately I do have fun with this thing and that is the weird part of it. Everyone who's ever held this thing has laughed and yes, you remember, laughed their ever loving butts off and they just, yeah. The other thing, ladies and gentlemen, is that outside of the rail here, I found out that there was two holes in the barrel, the inner barrel itself. So I took some Teflon tape and just wrapped around there and uh, that should hopefully alleviate the situation of that. But the other thing though, ladies and gentlemen, is that I will basically now give you the full run cam experience of being able to see exactly where the shots are going and how far this is going on 0.2 BBs. Because let me tell you now, this thing actually does lob them pretty far. Like, legitimately, this is a very fun gun, very light gun. The guys at the field have actually stood have had a chuckle, a laugh, a smile, a giggle. This is basically a giggle factor gun that you buy this to either do like I'm doing and just turn it into a sleeper build because this does technically have this weird pseudo like V7, basically an M14 gearbox in here and can be upgraded even. And it is, it, it, it is so combat rifle-ish and I absolutely just love it and I am yeah this is definitely going to be something I'm going to be rocking on my enclave and my other fallout loadouts in the future because I just love this thing even if the, the th even if the motor finally freaking kicks it that's fine I can st I've, I've seen the guides I've seen what people have done to this thing I will fucking upgrade this sucker and just turn it into the ultimate little sleeper gun and, and just have it in my wasteland loadouts basically I love getting more magazines for it because one of the magazines sadly broke, so that leaves me with five magazines, which during a game day, I don't really run out of ammo. I don't really run out of magazines all that much. I'll, I'll still have two extra magazines, but, you know, more, more, more magazines will definitely work in the future. But, yeah, I'm rambling. I'm just giggling, gushing a little bit about this thing, which, yeah, moving on. So the next thing I'm bringing is going to take shotgun shells, and you're assuming I'm taking either, you know, some some form of shotgun. Well, you're not wrong. In reality, I'm taking this thing with me to basically get some gameplay of it and kind of get a sense of it and just... Yeah. I'm just taking this to the field just so I can basically say, yeah, no, I ran this thing. I now have the gameplay for the review in October. And I am just, yeah. And if hopefully I never have to see another one of these things, even the shell ejecting nerf dart blaster variant in the future, I'll be a happy, happy man. But either way, it's one of those things of, I'm simply doing what I can with what I have, and I am just trying to basically be spontaneous and random. And spontaneous and randomness involves me bringing this to the field. And who knows, one day I may bring this little M14 to the field as well, just for reasons. Again, reasons. I, I don't need a reason to basically be spontaneous and random. Just no reasons whatsoever. I just love being random. Anyway, that's about it, ladies and gentlemen. Those are the guns I'll be bringing and are getting at the field. And believe me when I say that, I am actually looking forward to the UAR more than anything. And definitely not going to lose a wink of sleep if I don't have this running at the field. And I don't run this at the field. And I don't need to run this at the field. I'll be actually pretty damn happy if I don't got to run it at the damn field. But, ladies and gentlemen... As always, I've been SF Dale, and I shall see you lovely, lovely people in the next video, and hopefully at the field. Till next time. 
And legitimately, outside of this, which... Eh. I have high hopes for this, just... Just being a giggle factor gun, honestly. Like, I... I cannot express how much this is gonna make me giggle, and I don't care how many dislikes I get on the video when I showed it, when I showed, when I did showed off the rail for it. I don't care. I, it makes me smile. It makes me giggle, and that's all that matters to me because it's just. <laughs> it's just so weird, and I love it. It's so Fallout. I love it. <sighs> Till next time.